Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Overwatch 2 Season 13 to get best FPS. What are the best settings on your PC and the game to improve your lags, frame drops, and stutter. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, step number one is the compatibility settings. And for that, you have to open up Steam or wherever you have installed your game. Right click on your Overwatch 2, head over to Manage and then click on Browse Local Files. Once you're over here, select your Overwatch.exe, right click on that, head over to Properties and then go to Compatibility. Click on Disable Full Screen Optimization and then click on Change High DPI Settings. Enable Override High DPI Scaling Behavior and then click on OK. Step number two is the best window settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and once you're over here go down to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will help you to save your CPU and RAM resources allowing you to improve your FPS performance in the game. After that go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and services off in the background and this will also disable unnecessary notifications that zooms you out of your game. After that, head over to graphics settings and over here click on change default graphics settings and enable both hardware, extra GPU shielding as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to reduce your input latency and help you optimize your graphic card to be utilized whenever you're using the game. After that, head back to graphics and over here click on the browse button and then go to the download location of Overwatch 2. Select your overwatch.exe and then click on add. It is already added into my list. Once that is added, head over to options and then select high performance over here. And this will utilize your graphic card to render the game. Once that is done, close your settings. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then look for local disk C. Click on create and name it OW2 just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Overwatch 2 season 13 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply download it from there or you can join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Over here you'll find in seven simple folders. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again you have to double click according to your CPU. I have an AMD CPU so I'll need to run the AMD CPU priority. This will optimize your CPU to perform better while you're playing the games. Second one is RAM optimization and it does the same thing as CPU optimization but for memory. Once again I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I have 32 GB RAM ready to run this one. It can be different for you so you can apply it from the list. Once again if it does not work perfectly you can reset it back to default over here. Next is the Overwatch 2 priority in which I have it above normal, high priority and normal priority. Once again, I want you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll tell you guys which one to choose from in this list. Go back, open up the fourth folder that is PC optimization in which I have left three simple registries. You need to double click and run all of them and this will help you to boost your PC's responsiveness, disable large system cache and it disable power throttling. All of them will help you to optimize the power usage and increase the responsiveness of your PC. After that, go back, head over to unwanted services and over here I have left ton of these registry files. Once again, it helps you to disable your Bluetooth services, co parking, downloading maps manager and so much more. And this all will help you to reduce the number of services running in the background, improving your PC's performance. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth devices, do not disable the Bluetooth services. And if you use printer services, do not disable the printer services. But other than that, I would recommend you guys to disable every single one in this list. Also, if you guys want to revert any of these services back to normal, use the revert registries folder to fix it. Next is the input lag fix and over here you'll find keyboard latency fix in which i have let five buffer once again i want you to leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which keyboard buffer that you need to use it differs with the keyboard model and the type of keys you use so leave all of them in the comments below Next is mouse latency fix and over here I have left a fixed mouse delay. You have to run this one and it will help you to set the correct coordinates for your mouse to optimize the performance and reduce the input delay. And then there is pointer precision that you guys can disable if you have a physical mouse. If you use a touchpad, do not disable pointer precision on your laptops. Last is the programs in which I have left clean temporary files dot batch. You have to right click and run this as administrator. This will simply ask you to clean all temporary files. You can simply press any key on your keyboard and it will start deleting all of them. These are temporary files created by the programs which are no longer in use and you can safely delete them. Next is MSI Modulity 3.0. Simply right click and run this as administrator again. 
and this thing will ask you to set the priority for your graphic card and in this application you guys can see all of the devices connected to your pc over here you'll find your graphic card make sure to click on the msi button in front of it and then from the intro priority set this thing to high and then click on apply this will help you to set the correct sfi your priority and improve your graphic card's performance once it's done simply close it next step is fixing all of your internet issues using no ping you can download this for free from the link in the description below once you open up no ping you guys can see a simple interface like this where you can find over 1000 games to choose from and over here you have to find overwatch 2 simply click on select the server and this will show you all of the servers available for this game and over here you have to select the nearest server to you that is mumbai 03 for me after that simply click on optimize this game and it will one click optimize your game no ping acts as a vpn that connects your pc directly to the game servers without any hindrance and this helps you to fix all of your packet loss ping issues latency and so much more the best part about this application is the settings gear over here which offers you turbo game by enabling this you can optimize your keyboard's response time and reduce input latency and it also has a dedicated fps boost section wherein if you enable all of these options it will also help you to gain extra fps i personally use no ping for myself and i have seen drastic increase of fps and reduction of packet loss and ping issues in the game so i highly recommend you guys to go check out no ping from the link in the description below next step is deanimating windows and this is super important simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here set Set this thing to custom and over here only enable save task while thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts this will disable all unnecessary animations of your windows and at the same time improves your pc's performance by a little bit once that is done click on ok and that should be it now you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings. All right, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to options. Then in the video settings for the display mode, set it to full screen and your resolution should be on a demand resolution with the highest refresh rate possible. FOV, I prefer 103. Aspect ratio I play on 16 is to 9. Dynamic render scale should be turned on. And after that, you have render scale. Now you have to set it to custom. And for the minimum in game resolution, you guys can go with 80. And maximum, you can go with 90. Frame rate limit should be custom and you have to max it out all the way up to 600. Vsync should be turned off, triple buffering should be turned off, reduced buffering should be turned on, and video reflex should be enabled plus boost, gamma correction, contrast and brightness should be set to the normal ones. Then head over to graphics quality and over here you have to use an upscaling method. I have an NVIDIA graphic card so I use nvidia dls is super resolution but you guys can go with fsr 2.2 and the image sharpening go with 0.45 texture quality should be set to medium texture filtering quality should be set to medium local fog detail low model detail medium shadow detail off effects detail low lighting quality low refraction quality low screenshot quality 1x ambient occlusion off dynamic reflections off local reflections off damage effects should be set to default once that is in press y to apply it and then close it and now you can play overwatch 2 with the best fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button we also have channel memberships if you guys are not a member yet consider supporting and getting the membership it really helps me out we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out